and Mark, I, I know you know former General President C.C. I like him. I like him. He's Muslim, and I've met with him a number of times, and it took courage to address a room full of imams like this and say, not like you guys are me, imams, but <laughs> a room like this that was full of imams and tell them it's time to get Islam back because it's being stolen and radicalized. We are the ones that have to stand up and stop that. And Carolyn Glick, that writes for the Jerusalem Post, another dear friend, she makes the point that when you say that the Islamic State or radical Islamists are not part of Islam, you're actually hurting people like Sisi because you're saying that's not Islam. And they know it is. We have a president that went to elementary school um, that was mu they were Muslim school. And he got some elementary school training in Islam. Now, on the other hand, and he says the Islamic State's not Islam. On the other hand, some people think he's the world's foremost authority on is Islam. And he got degrees in Islamic studies, including his PhD in Islamic studies from the University of Baghdad. And he says, very authoritatively, the Islamic State is Islam, and he happens to be the head of the Islamic State, Baghdadi. So who do you trust, a guy that had some Islamic studies in elementary school or the guy that studied it his whole life? He says it is. I think we ought to listen to him and take it seriously. So it was mentioned about Comey. He came before, and, and I like him, uh, FBI Director Comey. He came before our committee, and a, a slight fix of what he said, he, he never said we can't vet them. He said the president says we'll vet them. We will vet them. Our problem is we have got nothing to vet them with. And he said, you know, when people were refugees from Iraq, we had all of the government records from Iraq. We had fingerprints. We had data about them. We had all the criminal histories. So when somebody was coming over, we knew who they were, what they had done, and we could check them out. We have no records from Syria. When somebody says they're from Syria, we have no way to confirm that. If they say they've never had a criminal record, we have nothing to check that against. So in fairness to the guys that are only going to take maybe six weeks to vet them, it really doesn't even take six weeks. You've got this information. you got nothing to check it against. Okay, next. I mean, how you cannot vet someone like that. And when the Islamic State promises us that they are inserting terrorists into the refugees, I really think we should take them seriously. You know, and then yet another Islamic State person this week says, um, look, yeah, we were making plans for the Syrians to have a route right through Mexico to come through our southern border. Do you think the radical Islamists are stupid? They're crazy, but they're not stupid. I mean, you know the difference. I mean, my mother died in 91. She was absolutely brilliant, but she explained. I remember I was probably junior high when she explained that a guy was driving through back then what was called an insane asylum, and one of his wheel and tire just fell off the car. And he got out and looked. There's no lug nuts. He goes, I, I don't know what to do. And one of the uh, patients at the asylum said, hey, buddy, just take one of the lug nuts off the other three wheels, and then you can hold this one on until you get to the service station get it fixed. And the guy says, that's really smart. And he says, I'm crazy. I'm not stupid. And so that was how my mother explained the difference. Uh, 
these guys can look at a set of blueprints for the World Trade Center and say, you know, our calculations indicate if it hits just right and you get enough fire and explosiveness if with enough fuel, it may get hot enough that it starts bringing down those levels. We, it's possible it might bring it down. They're crazy enough to do it, but they're smart enough to figure out ways to inflict the most damage. You've got to take those seriously.